News Army. Russian lady held for months after denouncing the Ukrainian army on price tags. Sasha Skochelenko from St. Petersburg printed out grocery price tags with critical descriptions of her army's conduct in Ukraine four months ago. After the Mariupol bombing, a grocery consumer called the cops. Since then, she has been held in pre-trial custody on the suspicion that she transmitted false information on the Russian military forces. If the state is unforgiving, which is unusual in Russia, she might face 10 years in prison. Skochelenko's voice cracks when she watches Sonia and friends on a shaky TV screen from her jail cell. They're eager to tell her they love her before another pre-trial hearing. Long black hair and jail bars underline how drawn Skochelenko appears. Her t-shirt has a crimson heart. Her companions represent St. Petersburg's liberal, bohemian scene, rainbow-colored hair, peace sign backpacks. On the opposite side, hefty uniformed guys. State versus Russia's fading protest movement. Goliath beats David. Since the 24th of February, around 200 individuals face criminal prosecution for anti-war actions, including online dissent and 3,300 administrative proceedings for degrading the Russian military. Moscow Municipal Councilman Alexei Garinov was the first to be imprisoned under severe new, fake news laws. Others like Skochelenko or major political leaders like Ilya Yashin or Vladimir Kara Mirza remain in custody awaiting trial, their initial focus diminished by court dates, legal procedure and more charges. St. Petersburg streets provide no indication of trouble. Summertime. Girls in beautiful gowns and geraniums decorate restaurant verandas. The Nevsky River is roiled by pleasure boats. Same in Moscow and possibly throughout Russia. Summer's halfway over. 